Hundreds of years ago, a man retired from the military as a general. And as these things go, he wanted to pick up something new. So he picked up this art, this craft of archery. And he got really, really good at it. He progressed through the apprentice to the master stage. Wasn't a guru, but he got quickly to the master stage. And he just fell in love with this. He heard that across the ocean, thousands of miles away, lived a guru of archery. And he decided that he wanted to study from this person, learn from this person. So he went on a long journey, many, many months, thousands of miles. And one day he woke up and he knew he was getting closer because as he asked people and as he saw things, he saw arrows sticking in the middle of targets in every conceivable object, a tree, a building, etc. And as he walked, sure enough, that afternoon, he came across a barn that was riddled with arrows right dead center in the middle of the target. He knew he had found the place. He knocked on the door of the barn, and he walked in, and there was an old man sitting there with a little quiver of arrows sitting next to him. And he said, sir, are you the person who put all these arrows in the middle of the target? And the old man said, yes, that's me. And he said, I found you at last. I've journeyed many miles to meet you. I'd like to study and learn this craft from you because you're the guru. And the man sort of looked confused and said, well, I can teach you, but it'll only take a couple of minutes. And the general was surprised. And so they went outside and they found an empty spot in the barn. And the old man reached back and pulled out an arrow from his quiver and stuck it in the side of the barn and picked up a can of paint, painted a target around it. That's called the legend of the archer. And the reason it's called that is because it demonstrates that stories are tools. They are meant to you pick the objective, you pick the target, and you pick the story that fits in the middle of that bullseye. Instead of how we think oftentimes of archery, where we just pick a story and we let it fly and we hope it hits. Stories are much more intentional than that. And that's the legend of the archer.